Greetings and salutations, cadets. Welcome back to Curse of the Dead Gods. Man, it... It's been a long time since we've touched a roguelike, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been a while since we've recorded something for YouTube, hasn't it? Holy moly. Yeah, there, there's, there's been a lot of stuff going on, as the, um... As the good boys from the Game Grumps have put it, there is a nice worldwide... Uh, Backstreet Boys reunion tour that's going on, and it's it's kind of made things a little weird. Granted, we've still been streaming for the most part regularly at uh, twitch.tv slash gracenote, the O's a zero. We've been playing a lot of games that, you know, quite frankly, are not roguelikes, but have kind of maintained my interest. For instance, if you're a, uh, if you're a fan of Fantasy Star Online 2, I've been playing that a lot. <laughs> but no, um, some games that we've used to play in the past are actually getting updates again, including this one, Curse of the Dead Gods. Before, uh, when I first started playing at launch, there was only the Temple of the Jaguar, so they had a short, medium, long, and like a hard mode expedition, and they finally added the second temple, which is the Serpent. So I have not touched this game at all since... I guess like roughly launched, so I know there's been like a ton of like balance changes, new stuff added in, um, and I haven't, I mean obviously if I haven't touched it since launch, I haven't touched the uh, technical beta either for Serpent, so everything that's going to be, I guess in this video is going to be completely fresh. Now I remember my first impressions of the game was, it's definitely, it definitely has potential, it has a nice base to it. That they can add on and if they clean up a couple things it'll be great um i mean plus like i i'm a i'm endlessly a sucker for for games with a parry system <laughs> that's just me like it, it's a weird like roguelike meets like hack and slash a la like diablo like i, I like it a lot but it's got a parry system and i love that to death but i guess we'll just go ahead and you know we'll, we'll do like our original save slot anyway since it has a whole bunch of stuff unlocked on it. 34 skulls. I can't unlock anything. Um, if the first outing into a temple is the short expedition, some of my... Well, one of my perks is not really going to be useful. Champions drop 5 pieces of gear instead of 2 upon defeat. This is good for pretty much anything that's not a short expedition, so I can probably swap this for literally anything. Um... Corruption threshold. See, corruption on the short expedition is not really a big deal, because going from like one to two corruptions okay, I think. Uh, blood founds. I mean, at best we might only see one. I don't think we need it so much. Your kill never runs out when you are out of combat, does not reset between rooms. That's okay. The extra 1000 gold is pretty good. It's like the, uh, the Hades special, like the coin purse. I can be about that. Uh, I think for just like ease of use, we'll just go ahead and use that instead. Each favor allows you to refer- oh, 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 rerolls. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Go on and get it going. I feel like the spinning wheel for the entrance of the temple is new, which is pretty damn cool. This is also pretty new as well. Um... So, I mean, they have, like, the standard thing of, like, the short, medium, long, and the hard explorations. But I guess they have, like, special versions of this. Where you can, um, you know, I guess have a, a themed run. On a side note, I may have lied about not touching the game since, uh, launch. I did do, like, a random test run. There wasn't really anything interesting, it's like, for me, like, de-rusting and getting the crap beat out of me here and there. <laughs> but no, like, uh, Old Nightmare was like, uh, everything was in black and white and my my HUD was uh, disabled, so meh. <laughs> I had no idea what my health was at any point of the run or how much gold I had or anything. But like, well, whatever. We're just gonna go in and just beat the crap out of things. <laughs> but no, this is what we're here for. I'm assuming that they don't have these things. Like these extra little like themed runs for a serpent yet, which is fine. Most of the time, like you're just trying to figure out like what the temple's all about. So let's go ahead. 
let's figure out what this temple's all about. Um, let's see. I feel like early wells are not going to be useful for us, so we probably want to go either middle or right path. Right path. Uh, actually, this is probably like the most flexible. So I can choose between like a relic or stat upgrade, which is probably going to be stat upgrade. So gold, stat upgrade, gold, weapon. Weapon, weapon, depending on how much money we make, but I definitely want this stat. Let's go there. And of course we start with 20 corruption right up the bat. Oh, loading screen's pretty. I like the colors. Nice and green. I'm excited for the blue temple. I'm a sucker for blue. <laughs> So my parry timing is probably going to be all sorts of whack, plus these are more than likely going to be all brand new enemies. So I'm sure they have like their own uh, like timing windows as well. That's going to be unique. Ooh, Nagas? Let me see. Oh, that's a poison turret. Whoa, that's a big AoE, huh? That's not going to be annoying. Aha! I need to get that... That torch lit. Gonna stab me? Or not. <laughs> Malicious Skewer, Secondary Weapon Dagger. Deals critical damage against weakened enemies. Alright. That incentivizes me to actually land my parries to get the weakened status on. Sounds good. Ah, the old-fashioned dart trap, huh? I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Ah, he summons and he does that little AOE thing. Whoa, they always explode. Huh, interesting. Whispering Aegis, secondary, sh secondary weapon shield. 25% chance to automatically trigger a parry. Yeah, sure, why not? One out of four chance for me, if I actually miss the parry, to just get a free one. I'm kind of about that. And I'm always a sucker for shields too. Just because they, um, the charge weapon, ooh, the charge attack, will let me stagger enemies too. What's the gap closer? And I like gap closers. Oh, I get it. So that's a poison thing. I think. I could be wrong. No? Yes. No, it, it totally is like a poison cloud. <laughs> I walked right into it. I mean, I also didn't have my torch out, so I didn't know what I was really walking into. But now I kind of understand. Don't walk into the poison cloud, Chris. Um, I think we're going to be okay in health. We can play a little greedy and go for the late wells on the right side. Let's go for the stats and see if we can spend some money and get some, uh, get some power back into our build. Well, stat-wise, you know. Mm. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if I could parry that. I can. <laughs> I mean, I don't recommend it, but you can if you need to. Okay, I really just need to sit down and just parry that. Oof. Walking into traps and crap, man. Oh, thank you, one out of four. Love you. 
Uh, nah. I don't want to go for a pistol. I'm going to keep Mr. Shield. He's a good boy. I wish I could, like, sell it though. Like in Dead Cells. Where if you come across equipment that you don't need, like, you can sell it for, like, a small amount of gold. Just so it's something, you know? But maybe that's wishful thinking. <laughs> maybe that's asking too much. Like, I'm trying to do a parry, but it's not. Anaka doesn't want to do it. Just chilling. Oh boy. All this poison, huh? Okay. 10% damage, 25% gold fine, sure. Sounds good, dog. Not really have a choice here. Just go and do it. Do the thing. I didn't think there'd be gold in there, but I figured I'd try. Ooh, mall. Ayo, Silva! <laughs> Stop doing things. Oh no, I traded. I shouldn't have. That was kind of a, a waste of 30 health. <laughs> like, he's gonna stab me. I should have tried for the parry. I was gonna. S I was trying to see if it was still a hard commit whenever you did the uh, the swing of the two-handed weapon. Pretty much is. Oh, that guy got his head smashed in. Uh oh. Let's light the torches. Beat the heck out of things with my ham ham. You need to stop. Oh god. Alright, well. <laughs> Rude. Silly torches. Or silly spike traps. Okay. Stop. I'll see if there's anything on this side. No. I see a chest immediately on the left room. So I kind of want to go over here. Ooh, I'm a sucker for claw weapons. Especially since it has poison already. Innately. More money? Hey. Oh hey, it's basically what I just picked up, but just better because it has more crit damage. Or it just has crit damage in general. I like it. Uh, no choice, weapon again. After we clear this next set, we're gonna have a guaranteed corruption. It's fine. Excuse me, sir. Say hello to Mr. Hammer. Ugh. Oh, oh, that's a new guy. <laughs> I like how Hammer really doesn't care that he's in like the the defense mode. That's funny to me. Like, ah, oh, you're just gonna use defense curl, Geo, dude? Hmm. I don't care. <laughs> Hammer smash. 
I love it. <laughs> Can I get a upgraded to my two hand? Uh, blazing sword. Enemies restore or restores one percent of max health for each enemy killed. <sighs> Ooh. I mean, I love my fangs, but having a way of sustain's pretty dang nice. I need to take that. Uh, secondary weapon. Dagger. Uh, uh, I mean, I kind of feel this. I kind of dig it, you know? I could re-roll it, though. I could re-roll one of these. Let's re-roll the expensive one. Oh, it re-rolls everything. Oops. Never mind. Uh, so we do have 5 points in dex. That's okay. Ooh, 30 plus 30% 30 damage against poison enemies, you say? Hmm. I'll buy that at a high price. Because all I have to do is just hit once with my claw and then... Boom, Diata. I got like 30% extra damage. No problem. Easy peasy. Uh, I could go for another weapon. That could be okay. Or I can go for gold, healing well, relic, stats. I don't mind that. I think that's okay. Kia! Urns no longer contain gold, but are filled with blood. Blood heals, but inflicts corruption. That's fine. I don't mind the free healing. Hear me! Unless it's only one per... whatever. Hear me, sir. Hmm. Foolish of Dagger. Invading in... An attack with the offhand combo is fully restores. Uh, I still want to keep my shield, honestly. I'm okay. It's like, well, I do like that I get extra damage with the poison. Mm. I don't know if I need it since I have a lot of my damage coming from the spear. You know, what? I'm gonna go left. Jeff it. Hmm. Whoa, hi. That's interesting. You hit it and it launches out like little spikes. Huh. Very interesting. Is that worth it? Should I go like poison myself to see what's down there? Alright, sure, why not? <laughs> Could be worth. Uh, I mean, I spent money on this spear. I kind of want to, like, get value out of it, you know? But good to know. There's usually a chest, like, if you if I go down stupid poison path, huh? Uh, can I break these? Oh. Oh. They slap at me like Illawi tentacles. From League of Legends. That's interesting. Can I burn them? Will they be mad at me? Ow. Oh, those do a lot of damage. Yeah, they don't care about being on fire. I have to actually strike them. Yikes. So if I don't, they're just gonna slap me and they deal 50 damage per hit. Which, you know, kind of sucks. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Use me. Don't mind me. That's a big boy. Nice. That's very much a big boy. Give him my gold. Incandescent claws. 
It's nice, but I like the poison synergy that we have with our spear, so probably not. I'm not going to go for that question mark, I want the stats, so let me go for this one. It doesn't really matter either way. Let's get some corruption. And also heal our poor battered body. I'm sure we'll have enough money for the relic and for or for a decent relic and for the uh the stats. But I suppose we'll see. Oh haha. <laughs> no, no, no. Go left. Ah. Angry plants, we meet again. Hmm. I'm gonna go left again. Because surely it will. It won't. It won't. Betray me going this way. <laughs> right? Surely. Pop. No. I'm okay. Good to see that spears are still kind of busted. Yeah, it's super nice range, still. Oh, hey, hello, 20% base damage to spears. Huh. Well? <laughs> Give me that. More damage? I'm about that life. And I haven't found a single relic this whole run, so <laughs> why not? Let's get our stats. Let's see if we can get more uh, damage into our spear. More blue. Because you know what can blue do for you? Well, in this case, it's it's literally just damage. That's what the blue can do for us. <laughs> Holy moly! Oh, that's a twofer. Two hitter. My spear's better! Whew. No Alawi tree. I am not gonna get hit by you. I say as I probably will get hit later by one of them. Ooh! That was a really late dodge. Oops. Alright, can I buy some good stats? No, not like I really need gold find anymore, so sure, here you go. Oh plus twenty-six damage. You know what? I'm kind of I'm kinda of feeling that. We're gonna get level two corruption. That's fine. Hopefully it's not something too detrimental. Visions of Madness? Uh, taking damage causes hallucination. So it, it typically turns off for HUD. And turns everything like monochrome. That's okay. Let's do our best in just kind of looking at this pattern and see what the boss does. And let's keep our distance. I wonder what those do. They explode. Okay, cool. Interesting. Like, I just want to get poison on him. Ow. Ow. I don't know why I didn't try parrying. I really should have. You might as well.
I don't know if it's better devious to even like try going for some dagger swing or claw swings just to get a little bit of poison on or to just kind of go for it. I'm going to go and hazard a guess that I cannot parry the uh, AOE explosions. I'm just going to be careful about that. Who needs poison when we can just beat the crap out of it, right? <laughs> That's not a bad boss. Pretty fun. Very least it doesn't spawn in ads, so I can be happy about that. <laughs> Alright, that is short exploration done. First try, baby. Only 15 minutes too. I, I'm not mad about that. But hey, that's uh Chris the Dead Gods. I'll probably try... Mm, I was gonna say, like, at the time of this recording, I would say, hey, today's a Monday. I might actually stream it on Tuesday. The next day, which is normal stream day, which, by the way, twitch.tv slash gracenote, we stream on Tuesday, Thursdays, and typically the weekends, but the best way to get your notifications, join our Discord. The link will be down below. I was gonna say, maybe we might play this on the Tuesday stream of this week, but more than likely, it'll probably be either Thursday or maybe even, I don't know, weekend? I don't know, I'll, I'll figure out like what I want to do. Like, maybe we'll start with like a roguelike or two and then kind of ease into like PSO2 to end the night. I don't know yet. I haven't really quite figured out what I want to do with the schedule or the game selection, but I do know this game has its update and Hades has a new update, which is going to be uh, the Tuesday stream focus, you know, once I get off of work and all that jazz. But anyway, guys, if you stuck around, thank you so much for hanging out. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you um, have any hints for me, since I don't know what the meta is for this game anymore. Um, and if you're enjoying the game, let me know. Well, until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and good luck on your runs. Bye-bye!